people. I'm trying something new with the cash stuff in. So this is my budget binder. I did change up the envelopes a little. Some of them came with this binder. Some of them I purchased separate ones and separate little sticker thingy things. Um, but anyways, I'm not one of the ones who are good with this. So I'm just starting out. Reason being is because I found that I was overspending. So to help with that overspending, I felt like if I cash, did the cash stuff in envelope method, that that would cut back on me overspending. So we're going to see. I did go this today is the 30th of September and I won't have a full amount until about the first week, my first paycheck in October. So for this um, month, um, for this week, I should say, I did take out a hundred dollars at the ATM today, and I'm gonna stuff this. And I'm thinking I'm just going to put in. I'm gonna just tell you the categories first. I have self care, which would be for my nails, eyebrows, just anything concerning me. Okay, self care, you know. Then I have food and groceries. I had to add this on because I just, yeah, whatever. Anyways, so food and gro groceries. Of course, I have my gas, dine out, entertainment, gifts, miscellaneous, and emergency. Because I do, I have an emergency fund, but I do want to start adding more to that. My goal for my emergency fund is to have three to six months of living expense saved up. So in order to do that, I need to actually start putting more money into that account. So I feel like I need to do that every week. And I'm going to start other budget binders for my sinking funds because I have other ones that I want to do. And I feel like it's more of a sinking fund type thing. Um, it's not something I pay out each week. These categories are something I pay out pretty much each week that's not a fixed um, expense. So yeah, so I think I'm going to um, put 20. I had to go to the ATM. It's on, this is a Saturday, so the bank was closed. So I couldn't get smaller bills because clearly if I had smaller bills, I would divide this up differently. But because I only have 20s, I'm just going to put 20 in my self-care bill. I am going to start getting my nails done. Instead of getting my nails done every two weeks, I'm going to start getting my nails done every three weeks. So with getting my nails done every three weeks, that technically would mean that I would only be getting my nails done pretty much once a month. Um, yeah, so 20 there. Food and groceries, I'm gonna put 20 there. I know I used to budget for $80 a week for groceries and I had to come to my senses and be like, girl, what, what, what you doing? Because I shouldn't have, it's just me. I shouldn't have to spend that much a week in groceries. So I'm going to take it back down to spending $50 a week for groceries. So, yeah, like I said, it's going to take me about a week to really kind of get this fully together where I have one week completely um, of in each category of what I want to spend for the week, which I will go over that at the end of the video. I'll tell you what I plan to spend in each category per week because that has changed based upon me reflecting on my last two months budgets um, and realizing the changes that I need to make. Um, so yeah, so guys, I'm gonna put 20 in here as well. And then dining out. Hmm, let me go through and see which one I really want to put in here. Because I have $40 left. Hmm. Do I think I'm going to eat out this coming week? I don't think so. But it, even if I do, I just don't want to put it in that category right now. Entertainment. Um, this coming week is like my, what I'll call my long week to work. So I will be working most days. Um, so I really don't have anything planned 
I do have car maintenance scheduled, but that's something totally different. I'm starting to sink fun for my car maintenance. Um, I'll make a separate video in regards to that. So entertainment, I don't have anything planned, so I'm not gonna put it in that category. I'm just gonna put it 20 and miscellaneous. Cause you know, stuff do come up and stuff do happen. And I'm going to put 20 in gift. Only because I do have um a birthday this month coming up. Not my birthday, but someone's birthday. And I want to just go ahead and start each week. Their birthday is the third week of October. So I figured if I go ahead and save um, some money each week towards that, it's less of a hit. Anyway, so that's me cash stuffing $100. Um, every category has a 20 except for dining out, entertainment, and emergency. Uh, I will come back next week probably on Thursday and cash stuff the remaining amount um, for this. So stay tuned for that. And no, I wouldn't carry this around. So whenever I go out and need to go grocery shopping, of course, I will take the money out of the grocery section or wherever I'm going. If I'm going to get my nails done, I'll take the money out of the self-care section. I wouldn't carry this whole binder. I'm not crazy or whatever but look at its charm isn't it so cute but yeah so that's my first ever cash stuffing um like i said i'm about to create a sinking fund as well for like car maintenance that is that on that that is my first ever cash stuffing video um i'm not one of the ones who probably do this often like i will do the cash stuffing often but recording it i'm not really sure i guess it really depends on you know if the people like it or not but i am i feel like i feel like this is like i said before it's gonna really help me to stop overspending but that's that and let me um tally up what i will spend in each category and i'll be right back so hopefully you guys can see this so this month for october as well i don't know if i said this earlier i am planning on doing a low spend type month so i'm going to try to not spend any unnecessary money as i have been doing these past previous months definitely going to work on that so in order to do that that's why my budget um is looking as like it's looking um and i did lower some categories because before for groceries i had budget like 80 dollars a week and I feel like I can do it off of 50 if I properly meal prep and um, do a grocery list and things of that nature. But anyways, for groceries, I have 50, gas 30, down and out 30, personal 25, entertainment 25, gift 25, and miscellaneous 50. With gifts, that's just gonna go to that category. It's not like I'm gonna give up to one a gift you know, each week or anything like that. But that's just to have for, you know, the gift that I know I'm going to have to eventually give. Um, anyways, so that's that on that. So that's not too bad. It's not a bad amount to probably have to stuff. Um, let me see. That is a total of 50 plus 30 plus 30 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 50 equals... 235 so that's $235 that I will be cash stuffing probably on Thursday. Um, yeah, so I'll come back on here and do another video, me cash stuffing the 235 And honestly, technically, I wouldn't really have to. If I want to get ahead, I guess I could stuff the actual 235 or I could minus the... $100 I already currently have in here and I can just do $135 but I think it's better for me to try to go ahead and get ahead um, I do need to get more envelopes I need a buffer envelope um, I guess that also could be my for the emergency so I will if I don't put that full 35 $235 to 
these categories i will actually put some towards the emergency envelope i'm um, just not gonna write this down yet because i'm not really 100 percent sure but that's that on that until next time peace love and blessings